Alrighty, so good morning. Today is Tuesday and I just left my a neurologist appointment and um, she's getting me another MRI scheduled um, because I've been such a big baby and I haven't been able to go, <laughs> to go do the um, MRI. So she's actually getting one uh, scheduled for me uh, for full sedation and um, I am gonna to go to Huntsville Hospital right here and have that done. So they're supposed to call me within the next couple of days to schedule that appointment. So um, tomorrow I'll be driving to Atlanta and then Thursday we'll be flying. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get the phone call, um, hopefully tomorrow, maybe even today, uh, and schedule it. Or they can call Friday when I'm at my destination. Um, it's just gonna be unfortunate that I can't, um, wow, she parked right there. That's silly. I'm gonna to try to back up so she can get out. Because that was just really silly of her to park there, knowing that we're gonna be coming in out. But anyway, so I also, um, so at my neurologist appointment, obviously we talked about the fact that my insurance um, did not approve my Ajovi again which I have a letter here that she printed out for me from my insurance company stating that they did approve it and it's been approved from like November to through March. So, um, and then after again, then my, the doctor would have to like redo it, submit it, all that good stuff, <laughs> which she did. <coughs> Gosh, which she did. And um, she said, uh-huh. And then she said, um, she actually like got me like a, a a three month supply of that which they always said so funny she tried that before and they would never ever give me a three month supply of the shots but um but thankfully so i'm gonna go to walgreens like after i get i'm in line for starbucks so after i get my starbucks i'm gonna go to walgreens and i'm going to give them this and i'm going to give them this also like a new code and stuff to put in there for um the shot but thankfully, think, 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 thankfully, they had a shot um, available, like in the fridge. I got it. Oh my God. I'm so glad because I'm going to take this today um, because obviously we're flying tomorrow. We're going to be gone for 10 days. And um, although I do have my Max Alt, which she did order me more of those, and which is great because I ended up having to take like two of those the other day. Um, because of a migraine setting in. I told Brian the other day, I said, it's it's so unbelievable to me. Like, I knew that those shots were working because obviously I wasn't, um, I wasn't suffering from the migraines with the shots. I mean, I would still kind of get like a slight headache, but it was nothing compared to like a migraine that puts me down in bed, which it did last Thursday. Um, so uh, anyway, I told Brian, I said, I could tell the difference, tell the difference, tell the difference. I'm so thankful for the shots. I'm so thankful for the shots. And I was just so disappointed that because I hadn't been able to take the shot this month that I was, um, I had, a, I had a migraine and it put me in bed Thursday. It was awful. Um, but, uh, thank God I have this one and I'll be able to take this one later on. I'll take it as soon as I get home actually, and let that start kicking in again. Um, but yeah. what the Oh, it's like a cheerleader. I'm like, what kind of uniform is that? Cheerleading uniform. Um, but anyway, so yes. So welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to um, my life with um, dealing with migraines and shots and insurance and all that good stuff. And she literally, I'm like so glad. I'm like, can I get that printed off? And so she, she printed it off for me. So I was very, very happy about that. Um, but yeah, that's me. Shots, migraines dealing with that crap insurance dealing with that crap I hate it our store is simply closed for a store thank you so much for choosing Starbucks my name's Claire which yours hi it's Angie good morning Claire hey Angie can we get you started with something to eat this morning no thanks I'm just gonna do a venti white mocha with uh, caramel drizzle caramel syrup hot please you got it was that it for you today yes that's it Alrighty, it's gonna be 801. Let's okay, thanks. I wish they're having an event tonight for their employees, for their staff, so they're gonna be closed. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start putting stuff in my pantry 
today um, and I'm also going to finish packing today. Um, I have a lot of things on my docket for the day. Um, I The main thing obviously I have to get packing because um, I did get stuff laid out. I do have things laid out. I just have to get some stuff laid out for Brian, some shorts and all that good stuff. And um, uh, he needs to figure out what his shoes, you know, shoes he wants to bring, all that good stuff because um, destination wise, um, I could probably tell you guys where we're going now because I don't think this video is going to go up until Friday, Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we are going to... Hawaii. So we are going to the a big island of Hawaii. And I know before anybody says anything, I know I said we probably would never go back to Hawaii again. However, you know, things happen and we're not going back to Honolulu, Waikiki or Oahu. We're not going to that island at all. Well, we're going to be on that island for a little bit because we have a a lay over there on the way home in Honolulu. Um, but um, we are going to the big island of Kauai. Um, we have never been to the big island. Um, this is an opportunity that happened um, through Hilton. Um, kind of, I explained a little bit the other day that Brian is a Hilton Honors member, or we are Hilton Honors members. And um, we like earned this trip through like points and stuff like that. So, um, we are, we, it gave us a couple of destinations that we could go to and whatever, but some of those, those just didn't interest us. And I just thought, well, we could just totally go to, um, okay, where do I, my phone go? I have to have my phone to get my, whoa, hello. Um. Hello. Hi. It's okay. Maybe 801. Yes. 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 I had it pulled up. What was that? I had it pulled up. There you go. I gotcha. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks. You too, hon. Bye bye. So, um, we actually had a few destinations that we could choose from, and those other ones just kind of just didn't sound of interest to us. And, um, we said, you know what, let's go, let's go check out the island of Kauai. So that's what we are going to do. So Kauai, Hawaii it is. And uh, now I'm gonna go because my camera will fall. So I'll chat with you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, so I am home and it is now crunch time, busy time. I gotta focus in getting everything that I possibly can get done today, mainly packing and getting that stuff done and straightening up the house and making sure that the house is completely straightened up before we leave. Um, <clears throat> Brian is doing some burning. We had some stuff on the patio that we kind of collected and need to burn. Um, I actually want to straighten up my dining room as well. Just kind of get things straightened up in there, put things in the pantry. I'm not going to reveal the pantry in this video. I don't think, I don't know, I might, just depends on how far I get with the, just, a, it's all going to depend on how far I get with the pantry. We'll determine if I share a pantry reveal in this video or not but we'll just see. Um, but I have a lot of things I gotta get done. I'm not gonna take my shot until I go to bed tonight because I always put it in my thigh and I just don't feel like having to like get undressed and letting it sit there for a few minutes. So it's in the refrigerator and I will do it tonight before I go to bed. And yeah, so good deal. All right, so let's get busy around here and let's finish up the packing and let's get some stuff done before we hit the road tomorrow. Alrighty guys, well I have been quite the busy bee this afternoon. Lots of things have been going on. <laughs> so the main thing I told you guys earlier that I was going to be focusing on was trying to get my pantry back in order. And um, I did, whew, I don't even know what time it is, um, but um, I think it's going on close to three, maybe three o'clock. I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, I my pantry is complete complete. The only thing that we have to do is um, the electrician can't come until the 27th. So we kind of have like a, a cord and then plugged into the wall on this side. Um, but until then, that's the way it's going to be. 
Um, the other thing too is the like doorknobs and stuff that we're gonna put on like the handles and stuff to go on the door so you can open up the doors a little bit easier. But it is complete, everything fits. I My guy who built the cabinets and stuff like that, he's gonna come back out and put in another shelf for me because um, I had asked him to do that the other day. Um, and he said, oh, I'll do it right now. But it was like nine o'clock and I'm like, oh no, not, it's, it's time to go home, it's nine o'clock at night. So I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I said, I'll just contact you. And um, I said, you can come do it like another time. But you guys, Packing is almost done as well. Um, I just have to go get my swimsuit and my cover up and stuff like that and put that in the suitcase. And I have to just pull out Brian's shorts and get that stuff done. And as far as I know, everything is pretty much a done deal with that packing. And of course, just last minute things for, for tomorrow. Um, I think I wanna switch out my purse. I might wanna bring an extra purse. I don't know yet. Um, shoes, I have to go that, do all that route as well. Um, but I'll focus on that later. I, mean, I have brown sandals that I want to pull out and some tennis shoes that I want to pull out. Brian has some tennis shoes he wants to pull out. And, um, but yeah, for the most part, everything seems to be done. And then the last thing I want to do later on this evening is probably clean our bathroom because that's going to be like the last thing that I do. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the pantry really quick. It's amazing. First, let me show you guys the dining room. Okay, so obviously my dining room is completely full. The table is completely full of stuff, but I've managed to get all of the stuff off the table except for this stuff. So like these are just like regular like shopping bags and stuff that I had um, that we kind of like pull out and grab every once in a great while, but I gotta wait for him to come back and um, put the other shelf in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's why that stuff is waiting there. Um, this stuff, I have to go put my other plates and stuff in their place. But, all right, here it is. Here is the big reveal. Let me turn the light on. And then open up the door. Okay, so as you guys can see, I had I added some lights in here that will automatically come on when you walk into the pantry. That way, if you, it's gonna probably do a weird thing. If you like just walk in just to kind of like grab a drink or whatever these lights will come on so but for now this is what it looks like so yes so and see the light just went out it'll come back on see no just came back on okay so this is how i have everything set up for now we have all this extra water so i just kind of laid it here because my son likes to drink tons of water and he also likes to drink these so we just kind of put those all back there um so this is the cord you guys can see the cord that i have plugged into there going all the way back there where the other water thingy is plugged in at so we have that there we have to put the other um strip of um, quarter round down there that has already been cut and fit to fit in there perfectly but we're not going to put that in until he comes and puts in the extra plug back there for the electric because you can't pull that thing in and out if that um, quarter round is there so that's what we're leaving it and there's that piece of quarter round that I'm talking about we just have to put this down there so anyway um, so I was able to put like my um, KitchenAid mixer here. Um, these are just kind of there for a show. I can really just like not put those there, but I just kind of have them there for now. Um, I have this little setup here to make it just kind of look really pretty and nice. Then of course, like I said, all of the drinks. Um, I put some of the bread here. Um, some of the stuff that we they used the other night for like the hamburgers and the hot dog buns are like down in there. Um, Gluten-free bread and then regular like bread. Um, these are all the handles that I'm going to put on the drawers and stuff. That's just sitting here. Um, this is just a little jar sitting here. No reason. And then I have this sitting here, which is just like lifesavers and stuff, which I love to go, like grab and put a few in my purse. Um, I have this here as um, just a, like a grab and go type of chips. Um, my gluten-free pretzels and the Tostitos and more pretzels down here. And then those back there oh these things are so good i love to travel with these these are like little rice cakes i love those things they're so good but anyway, i just kind of put those there quick easy these are the ones that are all open in the house everything else is not open so anyway all right so up here we have cereal chocolate like milk mix so like nestle's quick like oatmeal malt meal and then some like packet oatmeal and then over here is like all of my canned goods so i have all that there 
And then um, this is where I put the Lazy Susans because this um, counter was larger than this one. So these didn't, these don't fit on this because they're smaller, um, but they fit perfectly right here. So I just kind of put the Lazy Susans right here and this one right here. So it works out perfect. And then some of my like peanut oil down there and sesame oil back there. And then up here is like all of my cookbooks, seasonings right there, pasta, so like gluten-free pasta, potatoes, macaroni and cheese, rice, all that stuff up there. And then crackers, and you guys can see all that up there. And then way at the top is just like chips that are not opened yet. My Drew Barrymore crock pot. And then these are all like extra stuff. So like pasta sauce, hot wing sauce, salsas, just extras that we don't need right now. So when we run out, that's where all of it will be. And then my other Drew Barrymore skillet. And then of course, just my pantry sign. And then just like a little like fake flower type of thing. And then of course, all of my Disney mugs are back where they belong. Um, not just Disney mugs, but like these are universal mugs. That's a universal mug. This is from San Francisco when we went Disneyland, but yeah. Oh, Cabana Bay. But yeah, these are all of our like mugs that we'll come get from time to time. And then he's gonna, I had a shelf here and he's just gonna come and put another shelf right here for me. And then that's where I would store all of my like bags and stuff that I use when um, to go shopping. And then my roaster I put up there and then paper towels and stuff right there. So um, down here in these cabinets, I have uh, my, um, what is that thing? My Lodge cast iron skillet. I have my waffle maker back there. Um, this is Brandon's um, like cooler. And then I have my other Drew Barrymore stuff back there. My Cuisinart like, um, like chopper and then a bowl that I have back there and that they're right there but yeah so that's it and then some like chopping blocks there and then in this cabinet I have um some of my cookbooks down in there the ones that don't fit like at the top and then I have my juice right there cranberry juice my other crock pot there um and then my like these are for roasting like marshmallows and stuff so I got those and then my s'mores box where I keep all of like Hershey's Kisses and um, uh, what are those things called? Graham crackers in here, but there's nothing in there right now because it's not that time of year. Well, any time of the year it is, I suppose, but just don't have them in there. But yeah, that's that one. And then um, in this drawer for now, I will, um, I have my, um, Oh, taco shells and stuff, which I'll probably end up taking them out of this and just kind of leaving them in the drawer, but I keep them in here, just like extra protection. But this is just where I keep um, all of that because my gluten-free ones are in here as well. These are just like taco shells, tortilla shells, my gluten-free ones. So that's all in there. Like I said, I'll probably just take them out of this. I just put them in there for now. And then I got these too. These are non breads i'm gonna try those because those are gluten free so i'm gonna try that but yeah that's what i have in there and in this drawer i have um this is our like Ghirardelli like melting chocolates let's put that down um the melting chocolates are hot chocolate that um we got for christmas i have tea in here and then i have some just like holiday sprinkles these are from halloween and then I have some a small thing of baking powder in here. Baking powder. No, that's not right. Baking powder. No. Yes, baking powder. <laughs> like trying to remember what was in there. So like baking powder in there. And then um, in this drawer, I have um, the jellos and puddings and stuff in here. And then I have these small like um, tuna cans in here. I don't know why I put them in there. Just because it just, I don't know little organized and then this jelly and then some um, Toll House morsels and then the peanut butter like that we travel with sometimes I'd be having here and then these go to the our grill out back 
and then this is just an ice tray. So I kind of have that in there. And then we'll go to this cabinet here is where I kind of keep all of my like other baking goods and stuff. So my gluten-free baking mix, gluten-free flour, gluten-free cornmeal, some more gluten-free stuff, gluten-free stuff. And then I just have this in there because that was like the only place I could put it. And then this right here is my other two um, crock pots at the top. And then my two small Drew Barrymore ones right here. And then that's like a cookie maker thing. But yeah, I think everything looks great. And it turned out exactly how I envisioned it. And I absolutely love the way that it looks and the way that it turned out. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Wednesday. Uh, today, we are leaving for Atlanta, um, and I just kind of wanted to finish off yesterday's vlog and just kind of add a little things to it today uh, and just kind of update you guys a little bit. Um, we are leaving for Atlanta today. We're staying the night in Atlanta, and then we catch our flight tomorrow, and I am very, very excited. Brian and I are very excited. Brian, yesterday, he was just like, Yep, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for a vacation. I'm ready to chill. I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to have fun. And I'm like, me too, babes. Me too. We're just ready to go. Um, <clears throat> ready to ready to go get away from this cold weather. It's 46 degrees here. And uh, it's supposed to be very, very nice when we are on our trip. So we're very, we're looking forward to that. Uh, but right now I am headed out to top off my car with gas, get a car wash and then head back home and pack up the car. That way we can leave and get out of here um, and, and make it to Atlanta. Uh, tonight we are meeting friends, our friends, which I am so excited and happy about because my, I love them so much. Um, my friends uh, from Georgia, Monica, Sandy, Ray and Rex, and um, I'm just looking so forward to t seeing them today. We were, we were texting earlier back and forth and I told them, I said, I can't respond right now, I'm really busy. And I'm like, I know, I understand, we'll see you tonight. I'm like, I know, I love you, i see you tonight too. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're just, we're just really, really excited. Um, yeah, what a day, what a morning. I've been, I changed sheets on the bed. I've taken the dishes on the dishwasher. I put a few that were already in the sink in the dishwasher. I kind of laid out um, some stuff for my son that he needed to like make sure he takes the trash out, make sure he takes the recycling out, uh, make sure he turns the lights off when he leaves. He leaves at like 5.15 in the morning to start his job. So I just kind of left him uh, kind of like a list of things to do to remember. And um, so that is that is that that there and now we're gonna head on out and get our car washed this thing keeps falling so i can't leave it up here so see you in a bit also i forgot to tell you guys happy valentine's day i have my red on and i have some really cute like heart like earrings in for valentine's day so let's have a great day and love everybody and yes let's let's have fun on this trip i'm very excited i'm very excited Alrighty, so we are about ready to pack up and go. I have washed my car, vacuumed it out, wiped it all down. It is nice and clean for our three and a half hour drive to Atlanta. And I'm gonna end the vlog. And the next time you see me, I will be in Hawaii. See you guys there, bye. Actually, it'll be travel day tomorrow, all day long. And then we'll be in Hawaii tomorrow night. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on our way to Hawaii.